Hey gang, what's up? Coming at you with my, my satin scrunchie here. Yes, keeping it fancy with the satin scrunchie. We are going to do a little elf makeup. I feel like for the past few years, it's become this sort of unspoken tradition that I do a Cyber Monday haul from Elf's website. Um, I usually run into some good deals there. Um, I think this time around you could get half off on a lot of things. Of course, there were some exclusions, but I was able to save quite a bit and try some new things and um, some things that maybe Maybe I just kind of felt like I'd skipped over as time has passed. I gotta tell you, anybody else who's up in the night feeding a baby, do you sometimes feel like that's a really tempting time to open your phone and do some online shopping? Uh, because that's what I've noticed. Okay, so we're gonna jump in. And the first thing that I have here, this was really exciting for me. This is the Holy Hydration Face Cream. It says fragrance-free with hyaluronic acid and peptide complex. And I was using this yesterday. And now I've already got my SPF on and stuff, but this is like, way thicker than I expected it to be. I was thinking it was going to be this little, like, I don't know. I, I feel like a lot of the moisturizers and tubs that I've used from e.l.f. have ultimately been a lightweight type product. Something catering to normal to maybe more oily skin types, but this is so nice and rich. It's almost like taking the place a little bit. It's not maybe quite as thick as my Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base, but it's approaching that level. You know what I mean? And I thought that was just really cool to find that type of item. And it truly is fragrance-free, so that's always good for sensitive skin, but it gives you this great, really like prepped, hydrated feel. Now yesterday I was trying to use this, but something with the little pump like twist off mechanism here wasn't working and I thought, oh no, I'm not going to be able to use it. But today I tried and it worked. It's called the Glow Up Primer Serum. So let's just give it a shot here. We've got the dropper. Um, not sure what makes it glow up. Um, maybe there is yeah, a little bit of super, super fine shimmer in this. Wow, it's really thin. I don't know if this is trying to be like some kind of Farsali-esque product. You know, they come out with those serums and half the time you're like, is this really doing anything? I mean, I love the Skin Tune Blur. I feel like their Skin Tune Blur definitely has like a texture to it. It really like smooths things out on your skin. This, I don't know, I feel a little more glowy, I suppose. Maybe a little extra hydrated even on top of my face cream. I find it kind of interesting that e.l.f. doesn't have a whole lot of different um, coverage foundation-y type products like their classic foundation. I've definitely used that. I think that's a decent product but I was looking for something I maybe hadn't used before and I know I have played around with their BB cream but I decided to go for what they're calling um, their tinted moisturizer. It has SPF 20 and the shade, this doesn't even have the shade on it. I'll try to figure that out and put it up on the screen but um, getting a little pearl sized amount of this stuff and I'll dab it on. I'm dabbing it on pretty generously because I know that this is like a light coverage product and that's fine. You kind of know what you're getting into if you go for something called a tinted moisturizer. It has a definite like sunscreeny scent to it. So I'm just blending this in with my buffing brush. And simply I think because of all this nice hydration on my skin, I'm looking pretty glowy right now. But I can't really find any shimmer in this tinted moisturizer product. I think I'm just looking that way because of all the hydration. Part of me was wondering if this might kind of surprise me and be similar to my Nude Sticks tinted cover. I would say this doesn't really have the coverage that that has, so it's not quite doing that for me, but it was worth a shot. Next thing I got is this um, e.l.f. Camo Concealer, which you know I already have some of this, but I decided to go for a little bit lighter shade. Um, I usually wear medium sand, and it's a good skin tone match, but I was starting to feel a little bit like it might be getting a hint dark, maybe now as my skin is a little bit lighter this time of year. So I got the shade Light Peach. And using this yesterday, I can tell you it's it's maybe a little too light, but um, I also wanted to try their sponge that's geared specifically toward the camo concealer. Has anybody noticed this? Haven't seen anybody using this, but I wet it down. It pretty much doubled in size, and they do advise you to use that wet, of course. So I'm going to get a little less concealer than I used yesterday. But what I did like was that I gave myself some really nice coverage with this and it was like it didn't even matter that I had such a lightweight thing underneath with the tinted moisturizer. This concealer did so much. So I'm going to take my sponge and just kind of dab this in and you're going to see what I mean. Like it's really brightening and the look will all make sense by the end and it'll seem totally fine. But right now I'm like, whoa. 
It's pretty light. I probably realistically needed to go, I guess, somewhere between this shade and medium sand. But it's hard when you're buying online, guys. You know that. I don't need to tell you that. And I feel like stores don't always carry the full range of all the shades. You know what I mean? But I'll maybe check, like, Walmart or wherever and see what they've got color-wise. But it certainly helps take care of my under eye situation. A little brightening all over. But the sponge is incredibly soft. I think they know a lot of people use this concealer up on the under eye, so it's really, really nicely tapered, and you can get up in that zone so well. So I could certainly see myself continuing to use this for this concealer and a lot of others, too. I don't really have a new, just plain e.l.f. powder, so I'm gonna grab my Rimmel Stay Matte. I've been grabbing for this one a lot lately in Sandstorm, it's just kind of a nice general basic powder to set things with and I feel like anytime I touch my brush to it like it picks up some product but not too much and it's kind of just without even thinking it's on the level with me with the amount of product I like to use. So I'm kind of using that center of the face and then this is what I did yesterday with kind of the knowledge that overall over most of my skin I've got light coverage. I grabbed a powder foundation. Um, today I'm just going to use this Bare Minerals Silk 14 as my shade and this is you know gonna equalize I think the lightness on the under eye because this is more of like skin tone match to just a hair deeper and I'm using my BK Beauty 105 brush. This is a great brush. If you haven't seen my powder foundation routine video. I go very in-depth, but I love how this kind of balances out my coverage, balances out my color a little bit more here, and everything's just going to end up looking, I think, really smooth and even. Sleep-wise, how did I do on sleep last night? I got a couple of good stretches, like three-hour gaps of sleep, so that was nice. See what I mean? I feel really, really covered now and smooth. Next, I'm going to grab a little bit of bronzer. This is not something I purchased in the haul, but something I just have, and it's their golden bronzer. Do you guys remember this from years back? This is kind of a long-standing elf item here. It's a very light bronzer, but it's a really hard to screw up product <laughs> because you can kind of like throw it on. And it doesn't really matter how much you picked up on your brush. You know what I'm saying? If I really want to bronze, I sort of go to those two corners. And I can get just a little hint of something here, sort of on the cheekbone. But I got some new blushes in this haul, and I'm really, really excited about them. Okay, so then I just kind of swirled over everything, which gives me a really light bronze. Okay, so e.l.f. has new blushes, primer-infused blushes, but they're a shimmery finish as opposed to matte. I love my matte ones, and now I got several of the shimmers. I've got Always Preppy, which is this light, cool pink. This one's called Always Breezy, sort of a neutral, warm, cinnamony kind of blush. And then Always Lucky seems to be a berry-type shade. I think I'm going to try Always Breezy today. And I want to take a swatch of this because because something that those other blushes always did is I felt like I could swatch them on my hand and kind of go over them and they would lock in in a way. Like the primer infused blushes really had a way of adhering. Um, this seems to be doing that too. Like I can dust over it. Granted, it doesn't have the same intensity as it did when I first swatched it, but it's locking into the skin, that pigment. Okay, so let's grab a little of this. It won't take a lot. I know that. Yesterday I wore the light pink and I was like shocked at how much it showed up because that's a really light shade. But yeah, there's a little ton of warmth in this. This kind of looks like a deep peach salmon sort of on the skin. And you're getting a nice big pan of this and for just a tiny light dab in to be adequate all over the cheeks, this is something you're gonna have for a while. And the glow is really light and subtle. Like I think maybe you can see some glow, but it's more still about the color intensity here. They're not going to be as shimmery as like your Beauty Bakery cotton candy champagne blushes, but nicely intense color wise. So those are going to be fun to wear. And then this is something I got from Target recently. Uh, I think this is in their holiday stuff, I believe. It's their Glow Gleam Beam Palette. And I got to say, swatching this, like these textured shades on the bottom, like I'm really touching them and picking up hardly anything. A little something in there. Okay, I'm getting something off the end one. I don't know why they're so hard. And then this shade is like super flaky and hard. A little better on that one. And let me clean off a finger here. Better on that one. So here, here, and here. About half the palette seems to be like workable highlight. And the rest seems very hard and kind of dry. Let's try this shade right here. I think this might be a winner. 
yeah, that works fine. But I don't think I'd call this a definite home run kind of palette, if you know what I mean. I love some glowy cheeks. Whatever's left on the brush, I'm kind of letting that dust across the forehead too. We'll put a little bit of that same shade right here on the Cupid's bow. And my skin is officially awake. I'm going to use some of this Mario Badescu. It's the um, spray with aloe, sage, and orange blossom from that little set. This is the one I was keeping for myself because I hadn't tried it yet and all the other kinds I had. Mm, but I really like that. It's very energizing. So that highlight plus that spray, everything's looking really nice and glowy. Sorry, these satin scrunchies, like they're nice because they don't leave bumps in your hair. But at the same time, if you don't put them on aggressively enough, they just slide off. I'm going to move on to brows now. And I have this e.l.f. Ultra Precise Brow Pencil in the Neutral Brown shade. So I'm just going to go ahead and use that to try to stay in the elf spirit. But I do have a new like gel type thing. I feel like I've just gotten faster guys at my makeup overall. Um, it's just, I think because when I come up here, I don't know quite how much time I'm gonna have. We're just not into a real groove or routine. And you know, we'll have some days where it's like, oh my gosh, that went so well. Like, or nights, I mean, where the sleep was just fantastic. And then, you know, the next day it won't turn out that way again. So I know it takes some time and patience hasn't always been my strongest suit. Just calling myself out there, but that's just me. I could stand to work on that, but it has made me, whenever I'm up here doing my makeup, like I'm a little bit faster. And so last night as I was nursing him, um, sometimes I use that as time to come up with video ideas because it kind of feels like when you're in the shower, right? And you don't have a ton of distractions around. Um, when you're nursing in the middle of the night, you know, the TV is off, the lights are low. You're just kind of present there in the moment, just there with your thoughts. And so that's a time when I'll come up with video ideas. And I thought, you know, I think I could reapproach my whole uh, 10 minute unedited looks challenge again because that's a lot of days I can get it together pretty quick anymore. Okay, this is the Wow Brow. Wow Brow in Deep Brown. So they've got their own little tiny brush product um, that also has some tint. Reminds me definitely of the little size of like Benefit's Gimme Brow. I tried yesterday just using this straight up on its own and it was a bit crazy. Like, I just, I don't know. There's definitely some color intensity in this, and I felt like it was grabbing so much of my hair and just kind of making it look a little overboard. So that's why I like to go in with the pencil first, at least with this product. But I can see there's definitely little bitty fibers in here. So this is gonna be a thickening product. You put it in your brows and those little teeny tiny fibers will attach to your own brow hairs that you have and make everything look a little bit fuller. I feel like I got a little off base with my pencil right about here but hopefully that fixes it. Now I'm gonna skip ahead to lips because I know this lip is gonna be kind of intense. This is from their holiday set and it was on their website. I just thought, let's, let's give it a try. I don't recall using a lot of liquid lipsticks from e.l.f., but they have a liquid matte right here. I think this is in the shade Berry Blitz. Either Berry Blitz or Berry Glitz. Berry Blitz with the alliteration makes sense. And then Gold Glitz is your um, lip gloss that can go on top. So let's go ahead and apply this. really has a sweet scent, which is kind of surprising. I'm trying to apply, given that this is a matte liquid lipstick, I'm trying to not go back for more and keep my layer on the lips as thin as possible. And usually I think that helps the evenness of wear also throughout the day. Berry lips, kind of my weakness. Love it. I'm going to let that dry down a little bit and then use some of this gloss on top. I know that is going to have an impact on the staying power. Anytime you put some kind of gloss on top of a liquid lipstick that's dried down, it's kind of like you're re-liquefying it. But I want to show you guys the effect. It is kind of pretty. And then another holiday thing that I decided to try, um, they've got these, I think they're calling them oat chocolate eyeshadow palettes, and this was the spice one. And I thought the color variety just looked like a lot of fun here, actually. And um, e.l.f. does a surprise 
surprisingly good job with their eyeshadows. Like they've really stepped up their game. Their longer skinny palettes, their larger palettes. Um, they're doing some beautiful stuff. And I thought this color scheme actually looked really fun. So I'm gonna take my, um, this is my Tarte Shape Tape Eye Primer. I've kind of been liking this lately. Mainly for situations when I have like a really poppin' shimmer on my lid and I wanna kind of spotlight that or do a semi like, I don't know, almost a cut crease type idea. It's fun to use this. But then also just simply swiping it on as a general eye primer has been working for me too. Still love my Milani, don't worry. So where to begin? I think I'm gonna use something really basic in the crease first. And then I kinda wanna play with that yellow shade. Oh no, somebody just got up. I only just fed him probably half an hour ago. So he may just want to be rocked at this point. I know Bub's got him. But this palette's just kind of fascinating. We got everything from yellow to like spring green, neutrals, mattes, shimmers, really running the gamut in this palette. I think I'll do a little bit of this true, just very classic brown in my crease too. Yeah, these blend so nicely. This would be a great little gift for somebody who likes to be maybe a little adventurous with their eye look. The other day I used this purpley shade. I thought it was so pretty. Now I want to take um, this yellow right here. Really want to see what that's made of. Pretty decent. You can definitely tell it's yellow, right? It doesn't go on quite as bright as it looks in the palette, but still yellow. And I'm applying this to my inner lid area. And then maybe some of the soft, like goldeny shimmer might be pretty on the inner corner. There you go. And then maybe some purple, purple and gold. Gosh, that was the, the junior high colors. Go Eagles. My LSU fans are getting excited right now. Dang, is LSU gonna come in and win the national championship, you think? For football it could happen those are actually kind of pretty side by side like that but it's just coming together really effortlessly these are some very good mats here it's been pretty much all matte except for that inner corner pop and then work that crease brush in let the purple become friends with the browns that were already in the crease and maybe we go under the eye with a little purple too just using a pencil brush whoa that is a pigmented plum. Really getting the bulk of the color like right on the outside and then just letting whatever else is there trail inward. I don't know how this is making sense with the lip color. It really isn't, I guess. <laughs> oh well. Really guys, more than anything, I'm just up here to play. That's what we're doing. I'm taking a little bit of yellow now and kind of dabbing it over that, that merge. Just making sure that we can still see it that it didn't become too murky. ELF has very few mirrors in their products. I'm like looking around for something with a mirror that I can use. I don't know, one way to keep the cost down, I guess. I'm gonna curl my lashes. I'm not gonna do a big liner and falsies look today. And I'm gonna grab good old IT Cosmetics Superhero and away we go. Now, are those lashes not just setting off that yellow? Something about suddenly having the dark lash in front and then that yellow background. I like that. Oh no, I tap my wand right here. And this has really become kind of a standard duo for me. That on top and then my Thrive Liquid Lash Extensions on bottom, which is what I really did for the longest time and I had realized, you know, this is the only thing that really stays on my lower lashes and doesn't smudge off. Cause it's a tubing mascara and it's just basically incapable of smearing. So I can still have, you know, a nice hydrated under eye area, use your eye creams, whatever. And the mascara won't be affected by that, you know? Okay, so here is my face of the day uh, with my new e.l.f. stuff from my Cyber Monday haul. Let's just go over real quickly, review what were the standouts. Wait, I forgot to put that gloss on top. Okay, so this is kind of a goldeny rose gold looking gloss. And just add a little bit here. It's got a really really fine sparkle to it and I'm going to kind of gently let that come over the whole lip area. 
really pretty sheen and it's not too greasy so I think it really is going to adhere. I don't expect that it's going to like drift outside my lip line or anything. So I think this Holy Hydration Face Cream, this was surprising how rich, how thick this was. So I really enjoy that and I think I'm going to be using that kind of on and off interchangeably with my Bobbi Brown. The Glow Up Primer Serum, not sure. I think that's going to take a little more continued use to see if it's really playing a role in the look. The Tinted Moisturizer just okay. You know, it's going to be one of those sheer products. Don't expect a lot out of it, really. It's not on par with the Nude Sticks tinted cover like I was hoping it could be. Elf Camo Concealer. I mean, this is a fabulous concealer. The shade I got is just a little light. As you see it now, it's totally worked in with the look. You know, as powders and bronzers and blushes have been applied, I think everything looks great. But I might be actually a little bit deeper than the light peach shade. The sponge was really great. The blushes, these primer infused blushes, I've used like I said, the pink, and now today the um, Always Breezy. Still need to use the berry, but my goodness, that's a ton of intensity for a tiny tap in. And in terms of the holiday stuff, this palette, I'd say skip it. There are so many good highlights out there. I mean, the few shades in it that are good really are fine, but the whole palette isn't great. The Lip Duo, I do think that's pretty, and I kind of like the effect and at least the feel of the gloss going on top. And this palette, if you're looking for something a little bit different, I mean, I think Elf has really kept with its nice eyeshadow quality with this one. Um, I did a great look yesterday with like this color and the purple. There are a lot of different color combos you could work out, but I wanted to try the yellow for you today just to show you how intense that can be too. But they've got a lot of different varieties of these palettes. Let me know what you've tried, if you like this one or one of the others. I feel like I've got a little more figuring out to do because only two times using that with this kind of color variety really doesn't tell you a whole lot. Oh, the brow thing though, I meant to mention, I do think this has some pretty good hold. It's just, it's kind of intense and it's a little bit hard to control. There's a lot of creamy color in there. Um, so just kind of watch yourself and take it slow the first time you use that. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if you like these good old elf haul videos. I like doing them because I just think it's an affordable brand to really experiment with, try some things. I got some great deals in their Cyber Monday sale. So thanks again guys and I will see you soon. Bye.